Oh yeah, welcome to the great outdoor. Hey. <laughs> I was say the great outdoors, we just got Josh. Rubbing his belly, rubbing his belly for luck. Okay, today we're doing deadlifts. Oh my gosh. Deadlifts and uh, rows and some shrugs. Well, that's what I have to do anyways today. So, you know, why go to the gym and do that when we could do that in the great outdoors? Mosquitoes. Yeah, with the skeeters and everything. But hopefully we get it done we're before. About tits. Before they pop out, you know what I'm saying? Before they start running around, running amok. Man, this humidity just like plasters my hair. Oh well. Oh well. I got my I got my uh, sh uh, my shin things on and everything, so I'm super ready today. Here we are, boys. Pray to the sun gods, dude. What the heck? What is so good right now? Here we go. Ready for this? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> glute activation. Oh, glute activation. You still you still need two. Oh, no, I'm thinking. Glute activation. Yeah, yeah. Try, try when, you, when you get here. Uh -huh. It's almost like this. How's that feel? That's better. Yeah. This is your boy Tico back on the mic once again for the commentary. We're in Josh's backyard to hit part of my back thickness workout that is deadlifts, rows, and shrugs. And believe it or not, I went to the gym after this to hit those accessory type movements with the machines that 24 Hour Fitness has to offer. This should be around 270 or something. We'll see exactly what it is later when I go into the editing, but here it is. Didn't need the belt for this one, you know, I was feeling pretty, feeling pretty good on this day. Um, by the way, guys, if I haven't been uploading as regularly as usual, and because I've got some, definitely have some videos that I want to upload, but currently I am in the uh, processes of moving apartments, and I am going to have a roommate. Oh my goodness, it's crazy, right? So uh, things are a little um, busy at the moment, or just, uh, just things. Times have changed, you know, it's a little hard to... Uh, be on the YouTubes all the time, but I'm still trying to upload, you know. So anyways, like I said, doing deadlifts. Why am I doing this here, not in the gym? Well, first of all, remember at this time, the gym had a one hour time slot, so I figured why not use the other uh, exercise outside in the great outdoors. Oh my God, ow. My fingers. It turns out that that was just 289. So I just did 289 for eight. That's pretty sick with no belt. Like, I didn't think I could do it like that, to be honest, but that's pretty ridiculous. Now we're going up to technically, or 299 then. Uh, and I'll probably just touch and go for the rest of these because I've already done my one set of non-touch and go. Here we go. 300 with the straps. Nope. Oh man, I forgot to even comment in the previous video clip, but another benefit of doing this outside is one, I can film myself, actually see what my back looks like. I haven't seen my full back in a long time, especially not like... Um, while working out and in the video clip before this the uh, deadlifts or the set before this one My back my back was looking pretty freaking shit. I was actually very surprised like I it was a nice surprise to see that You have some nice little uh, veins on your upper back. You actually should film yourself next time and just see how So clearly Josh is a little impressed with my back as well, you know what I'm saying? But who couldn't be? No, just kidding. Anyways, no, but seriously though but uh, yeah, look at the look at the top. Like, there's actually some a little bit of like striations or veins going on up there. It's pretty crazy. And one of the big reasons why I'm doing these deadlifts again is one because I need to develop my upper back. And two, I did notice that my Christmas tree uh, in the lower back was starting to fade a little bit because I haven't done deadlifts or rack pulls for such a long time. So I decided to throw them back into the rotation. Oh. Uh, eight, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but you got it. Well, I, did, I did get it, I did get it, didn't I? It's really humid out here. I did not realize though, the set that I just did, I thought it was a 310. I thought it was 310 that I did for eight just now. And it turns out I miscalculated, it was 321, about 321 pounds. So I was doing 321 for eight. I did not expect that. That's pretty ridiculous because that's over three plates for eight, even if it's just touch and go. I've never been able to get anything close to that, so that's pretty ridiculous. But I'm definitely gonna lower the weight because that was a struggle. And I'm trying to I'm trying to like zoom in on my upper back because Josh uh, promised me that. No, Josh told me that I had veins up there. I'm trying to see those, see what he's talking about there. But I'm gonna reduce the weight to about a uh, 310, I think, and then I'm gonna try to give that a shot for the final set. All right, Josh. Boom. What is that even? So it's actually crazy to me that I was able to do 321 pounds for eight reps. Even if it was touch and go, like that's 
it's just amazing. Like I had no idea I was doing that much weight. Um, so honestly, like this day, this uh, this was a weekend, I do believe. So it was uh, I was a lot more refreshed. You know, on the weekdays, it's like working out after work. It's uh, it's pretty tiring because my work is very physical because I am a tennis coach. If you didn't know, now you know. But people who follow me, you guys should know. Um, anyways, get ready for a treat, guys, because this day gets a little crazy. Josh has uh, coaxed me into trying three. We're going to go for one rep max. I, I haven't done this. I inspired you, not coached you. I inspired you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, quote unquote inspired me to. Just a yellow in the green, right? Yeah, go for a uh, PR. Actually, I don't know if this is a PR. Probably not. But whatever, we haven't done a one rep in a long. We haven't done a one rep in a long time. Hey, why don't you go for PR hey, then? How hey, hey, look at me. I have no idea. I haven't looked at that in a long time. So, yeah. So we'll see. Anyways, we're going for. I know it's really dark, guys. Just bear with it. We're going for a uh, 350. I think it's 356 or something. But let's try it. We'll, tr we'll give it a shot. Or 353. I don't know. Who cares? Backyard. Uh, Backyard. Always use pr pr protection. Yeah, yeah. VFN. Protect your internet browsing and stuff like that. Wait on your, your midfoot to heels. Midfoot to heels, I'm on my heels. Okay. Cool. Yeah, bend the bar, let's go. Tuck your chin. Deep breaths. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh my god, that was easy. Bro, you can do more than that. <laughs> yeah, that went up pretty good, actually. That was so easy. Whoa. You were just shaking at the beginning because of yeah. doubt. Because of what? Because you doubted yourself. <laughs> That's what made you shook. Nice. 377, all the time, baby. All right, here we go. Back to last, bend your elbows. There you go, there you go. Hips, hips. Yep, and then you got it. That was ugly. That's my PRs are my uh, Yeah. I did it. Oh my god. And that right there beats my highest sumo, my highest conventional, and highest squat. And highest squat. Josh is doing calculations to see how much I did in comparison to my body weight because I weigh 150 and I just lifted 377. You just did 2.5 times your weight. Jeez Louise, I'm nearing an ant. <laughs> That's really good. Like, like you said last time, the Asian ant. Yeah. Well, so that, that is really good because my personal best, which what was it, like at least 485, and then when I did that, I was like around 185, let's say. That sounds better. Okay, I was at 2.6 times body weight, yeah. so you're a point one difference to my like best. Dang. So that oh, is with your sumo, really huh? Good. And that was your conventional. That's not even sumo. Yeah. You could probably do sumo 405. So. Wow, that'd be insane. Dude, you just did this 370, so it's not even. But maybe five, my five. maybe my conventional is better than my sumo now. Who knows? Okay, so we finished the deadlifts. Now we're just going into the uh, other, I guess, I don't know, accessory type exercises that we're gonna do, the rows and the shrugs. And like you guys just saw, I hit three, it was 355, which first of all, that's crazy. And then I was able to hit 377. That to me was unbelievable. Like I have not been doing, like I have not been practicing the technique for a conventional deadlift at all. Oh, hang on. All right, I'm ready. All well, right, right. What are we going? <laughs> Oh, say rows or biceps? Rows. Oh. <laughs> <Just laughs> to no. walk some stuff, ripping out the biceps. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So like I was saying, you know, hitting 377 uh, for me, was like actually a bit impressed with myself, as lame as that sounds. It's just, I had no idea I could do that weight. You know, the 355 was already kind of surprising to me, but when it went up so easy, when we decided to move up the weight and I hit the 377, I was like, dang. Cause I've never even done that much on sumos, which my sumo was definitely stronger than my conventional for a while. And I've just kind of started putting the deadlifts back in the rotation. So that was really exciting. I'm not, I don't plan on doing so many um, one rep maxes so much, but I am going to keep doing deadlifts so I can improve my back more and more because we do need to do heavy lifts as a natural. Why the hell is Josh all the way over there? No, you gotta pick, take back. Let's see if the Pokemon catches it. <laughs> the Pokemon catches it. Yeah, he's walking in the tall grass. You know what happens in the tall grass. You encounter the Pokemon. Did I catch a Pikachu or the Weedle? <laughs> the Weedle. No, 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 no. I just caught. 
Okay, one final word before another episode of Tigu TV comes to a close. I'm just kidding. It's kind of, yeah. Anyways, anyways. Um, you know, I'm more into the bodybuilding aspect of things. Josh is a power lifter by nature. It's nice to have somebody like that to work out with because, you know, he could, he could see that I was able to lift that weight when I didn't even know that I could. So that was really awesome. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one way or another, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!